Hey guys, Mr. T Laxify back, and in today's video, we are back with Juggernog, thankfully, and my hair, I just noticed, is on fleek. It is just, it's magnificent, it's magnificent, and welcome back to the Rainbow Perk Challenge on Call of the Dead. If you don't know how the challenge works, we gotta get all the perks in rainbow order, so next two perks up that, uh, that are going to be, that I need to get are uh, Double Tap and, Double Tap and Stamina Up, I believe, so... Double tap is on this side, so I believe I can buy the door right now, but that is not what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Hmm. We're going to buy straight to the box because I need to get good shit. And guys, I can't get quick revive until it's one of the last perks I can get. So it's going to be hard. If I down, it is R.I. Pepperoni. And I think I'll be fine, though. I think it'll be fine. Call of the Dead does have big spaces and it's going to be fine. But in today's episode, I want to make these challenges more story orientated. And I'm going to be talking about the leaks in Black Ops 3. Oh my goodness. Have any of you guys seen Alie's video? What? It is... It's It blows my mind, guys. It truly does. I... It's hard to imagine that this much information is already out with Black Ops 3 and the game is still two months to go. You know, Black Ops 2, they were, I'm pretty sure they released the Zombies Transit trailer two weeks before the game came out. Like in October. Two weeks! And we're getting this much information. It's September. It's kind of... It's, Almost like August just finished and we're just getting it's unfathomable guys and basically Alie's new video was about the gumballs and oi yo yo you know like Okay, first off I'm not gonna explain all this stuff because you guys know my point of view on leaks my point of view on leaks are Or is that I just I hate them I hate them, especially because for the viewer for me as a youtuber I have to know them because I have to know what the hell's going on with this game but as a viewer, I want you guys to stay away from these leaked videos as much as possible. Not telling you to totally disregard these channels, not at all. I love Alie. I love people that upload this stuff. But the thing is, if you want your most optimal experience for Black Ops, you're going to want to make it all a surprise. That's where Zombies really kicks in. You know, you have the best moments in a Zombies map, especially on a custom Zombies map, when you're when you're taken by surprise with what the map has. If you're not taken by surprise with what the map has, then what's the point? You know, you go into the game and it's just like, well, I, okay, I already know what is going on. I know what the main menu looks like. I know exactly what's going to be in this game. And yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to be explaining any leaks other than what Alie has in his video. Now, if you don't want to listen, I'm actually what, I'm just going to explain it very briefly. You're, it's not really considered a leak. Everyone knows right now in Shadows of Evil, gumballs are a thing. That has been released in the trailer. It's not a leak whatsoever. I can say that. So basically, the video is about Alie explaining every single ability of the gumballs. And he apparently said he found them in the PC beta game files. Okay, I don't think so, Alie. Like, for you to know all of them off the PC beta files and for Treyarch not to take down the video... Sorry, bud, I don't think that's totally right. So, my total view on this is, like, oh my goodness... I'm not going to tell you guys any of the leaked gumballs, but they are so OP. Oh my goodness. Like, legitimately, I watched the whole video. I was just in awe of how overpowered these these things are. It, it blew my mind away. I'm like, what? They're this overpowered? And yes, guys, I'll tell you one. I'll tell you one. One of the gumballs you can get is called Perkaholic, okay? And this gumball is the most OP thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Literally, you use it. And if you're clutching out the round, no need. There's no need anymore because what it does, it revives all players and brings all the perks back. What? It's... No. Like, unless this gumball is like 10,000 points, I'll understand. But really? For something this overpowered to be in the game? Oh my, like, unless Shadows of Evil is a really tight corner map that you really need this, maybe. But still, I'm, I'm not totally sure. And I know my double tap is a bit yellow. It's because of the texture. I understand, boys. I understand. It's a bit, we're going to keep it as orange because that's what it originally is. 
But, oh my goodness, it is unfathomable what's happening. Again, there's the main menu leak with zombies. And apparently, eSports zombies might be a thing. Oh my goodness, if that honestly happens, I could see, like, me and Pat really being into that. Like, I could, I don't know about Pat, because he kind of, <laughs> he's got to work on it. But, you know, I could, I could definitely see it. Like, imagine guys, like, relaxing end in a zombies eSports team like rip you know like you tried good good game you know <laughs> like you're done because these guys they're insane like imagine okay imagine um relaxing end vectic uh he's a really good german zombie slayer uh mado master and someone like figsu who got the highest round on shino numa you would never lose you would never win at all you would try but you would just die unless this is like now, I did suggest Treyarch something like Hunger Games to be in the game. That would be amazing. Are you kidding me? Hunger Games? Bruh. You know, I I know you guys might be like, how the hell would that work? Like, would you shoot people? Uh, would you shoot zombies? I don't know how it, it could work, but I feel Treyarch could make it work. You know, Treyarch can make a lot of things work. And I feel like Black Ops 2 was really the game that Black Ops 3 was just being tested on. They're like, okay, let's try out different game modes for zombies. Let's try out this. Let's try out a little bit of that. Let's try that. And then, yeah. So, if esports MLG Zombies is truly a thing, I will be all over that. And I promise you guys, I will be zooming through ranks on the Zombies ranking system like no tomorrow. Like, literally, I plan on going to US and buying a fuck ton of Mountain Dew and Doritos just for those double XP codes because Canada doesn't have them. That's how, that's how hardcore I'm going into this, guys. Like, I am going crazy. George, get your ass in the water, bud. Get your ass in here. And we're just going to weaken George right now. He is blinking, which is nice. Um, but man, oh man, guys, these leaks. And also, I'm, I'm not going to say it all. I'm not going to say it all. I, I don't want you guys to be completely ruined about it. There's the main menu leak. It's very strange what's on this main menu. And, like, apparently Nade Shot and guys were invited out to this MLG Esports Zombies thing. I don't know. I honestly think if if Tr Vonderhaar is trying to get people like Optic and FaZe in to this type of uh esports they're vondar is literally a genius i know you guys bashing him for like nerfing the dsr back in black ops 2 but he's actually a genius you know he's very smart in how he plans things i feel because you guys know black ops 3 is vondar's last game he's planning this like it's the end like apparently there's custom zombies that might even be a thing for black ops 3 that is not really a leak i'm just guessing apparently some people are saying it's big and it's definitely gonna happen i don't know I, I truly don't know. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go buy stamina up. So we're going to go back around in here and get the door open. Uh, I don't think... Are zombies really still spawning? Oh. Interesting. I, I didn't seem like it. They were really slow. But whatever. Let's just get most of the perks. Out. Oh, I already bought this door. I totally forgot. Uh, oh, right. Because the box is up there. Uh, let's just get... Mm, let's get stamina up. Stamina up is really nice on this map. A pack bunch is here. Don't really want to mess with that too much. The best guns I need to kill uh, or need to use for George are either Dragonov. Uh, I think Dragonov. Dragonov or Raygun. If I get regular Raygun, I think that's definitely really good against um, against George. So let's keep going over here. Really? They're still spawning. Int There's no way. There's no way. The next thing I need to get is speed goal. Let's just get it. Whatever. Let's get the four perks and then... Uh, let's hit up mystery, mystery Box. Let's just try and get points. I feel this is the best way to actually go about at the challenge. And um, I wanted to talk about also in today's video, my Widow's Wine Theory. Now, this is not a leak whatsoever. I'm not giving you any leaked information. This is all confirmed. Not confirmed, but it is all shown already in trailers. And it's just there. We all know it's already a thing. So I wanted to talk about you guys about my Widow's Wine Theory. And if you have watched my live stream, like I've said, I'm going through all the topics like I did with the live stream. So you'll know what I'm talking about with Widow's Wine Theory. I haven't seen this anywhere on any YouTube channels. I've checked the smaller ones. I've checked a lot of other ones. Haven't seen it. And my theory is, so with the Black Ops 3 Shadows of Evil trailer, we see Jessica or the female character of Shadows of Evil use the elemental sword very, very similar to how Ruin in the multiplayer version of Black Ops 3 uses the grab spikes where he just smashes it down and go boom, you know, that type of way. And I think that if you, I feel that 
so if zombies is bringing these sort of multiplayer mechanics into zombies then they might be bringing other specialist abilities so i was thinking about this and i look at the widow's wine perk emblem now widow's wine is um it's a spider with instead of a little uh sort of red i don't know what's on an actual black widow on the back but instead of whatever it originally is it's a fant it's an hourglass okay um and I thought this was really interesting because I was like, what other class uses an hourglass in Black Ops 3 Beta? And I was like, dude, Prophet's Glitch Ability. And if you guys have ever played the beta, Prophet's Glitch Ability is an hourglass. And I was just like, holy shit, Widow's Wine. And I was thinking about how this could work. And so the, the picture is Widow's Wine. So I was just like, okay, you have a Black Widow and you have the Prophet's Glitch Ability. How does that make sense? And I was just thinking... Widow's Wine. You use the glitch ability, the glitch ability brings you back in time a couple seconds, and the Widow, Widow's Wine would bring you back in time to when you're not a Widow. And I'm like, oh my god, that makes so much sense. And the reason why they put a spider, Black Widow. That's the easiest thing to make a Widow out of. You can't just really make a woman there. And I was just like, dude, I figured it out. So basically, it's Prophet's glitch ability. And then you might be thinking, that's a perk? Really? And honestly, guys, that's not too far-fetched when you think about it. It's definitely something that is possible with the game. Uh, we see, for example, Exo Slam and Exo Zombies or PhD Flopper, where it's essentially a reusable perk that you can use. So I'm like, damn, it could really be something uh, that would be useful. And I could, I could really see it being something like for maybe 4,000 points. Because I, I, I don't think it would be that OP. Uh, I think, it, honestly, I think it would be OP. I think it would be OP. I, I don't see it for 2,000 points. That's too easy. Um, but yeah, that's my theory on Widow's Wine. And guys, think of it as this way. Imagine if I were to ask... Oh, I killed him already. Nice. Imagine if I were to ask you what Mule Kick was, okay? You would have no idea if I just told you the words Mule Kick, okay? You'd have to look at the perk icon. And yes, now we have Mule Kick. What a coincidence. And I do have the Wonder Off because I did the Easter egg. You wouldn't understand. If I gave you Widow's Wine, you wouldn't understand either. Because the first thing I thought of was like, Widow's Wine? What the hell does that do, you know? And I guess I figured it out. I'm not totally sure. It could be something completely different. This isn't a leak. I haven't gotten any other information. Uh, if you want leaked information, I could just give it to you right now where Widow's Wine, the jingle, actually says something that it could get you out of corners. That's all I'm going to say. And I was just like, that kind of further supports my theory, I guess. I didn't want to make a video because my channel, I want to base it off more of entertainment for zombies rather than information and tips and tricks i know a lot of people do that for black ops 3 though i think i'm still going to be uploading a little bit of tips and tricks like best strategies and stuff because you guys are completely new to the game i'm going to show you guys the best guns the best everything definitely stay tuned to the channel when black ops 3 comes out it's going to be hype af um I should not have wasted the one off there, but that's all good. So the next perks we need is Quick Revive and PhD, and I think we're done. That's the Rainbow Perk Challenge. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Yeah, dude. Nice, nice. Okay. It's going to be one less perk because, like I said, no electric cherry. And I hope you guys did enjoy that. Now, I do have more topics to talk about. Let me just check my phone real quick here. That's Instagram. Oh, God. Not the Instagram, boys. Not the Instagram. I really rarely use Instagram. Like, you guys tell me I should use it more. I really do need to use it more. Uh, let me just check here. Oh, God. That was a really old photo here. Let's check the Gmails. And, yes. MLG Zombies I already kind of talked about. And I, I wanted to talk about more about confidence in today's video. This is going to be the last topic of this challenge video. And I got a lot more. So like I said in my last video, confidence is something uh, that is really nice to have. Now, confidence can either necessarily be good or bad. Now, let me give you an example of good confidence. Good confidence was, I guess you could even relate it to my story, where I stood up for something that I don't regularly do, and I feel that it made me a better person in a whole, even, it, even though it was just a very small experience. Now, bad confidence is saying... If knowing truly, maybe not necessarily knowing, but being bad at something and you're just so proud of it. You know, I guess in a funny way, it's not that bad. Let me give you an example. I know my mom, will, if she watches this, rest in peace, Aroni. My mom ain't so good at cooking foreign food. She's good at cooking, definitely, definitely for sure. But when it comes to cooking like burritos and stuff like that, because my ethnicity, I'm Ukrainian, we make like pierogies and stuff. Pero here, very nice. But uh, um, 
it's just no. You know, she puts too much this and that, and it's just no. Like, you can't eat it. it it's not good. And that, and she's really proud of what she makes. Obviously, I guess in a way, I can be a little bit selfish, I guess, on her. Not a bit selfish. I get a bit prejudicial. But I do feel that she is a bit proud in the way she boasts that her cooking is amazing in terms of foreign food. And I guess, I guess, I bet she's joking on that, I know. But that's, I guess, an example of bad confidence. And I guess in a way, you're going to want to have a little bit of both. You want to be a little bit funny with your bad confidence, but you don't want to be too boastful. I know a lot of people too boastful with their confidence, and then they turn out to be really fucking garbage. And it pisses me off. But good confidence, guys, like I said, it brings you to great experiences, and I definitely believe it is something worthwhile to have. And I think I'm going to end off the challenge here for the second episode. Anyways, guys, I did hope you enjoyed the video, if you did. Just make sure to leave a like, guys. We'll probably end it on the next episode, let's be honest. Thank you guys so much again, so much, so much, and I'll see you in the next one.